Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to my accountability video. We are five months into 2023, all right? Did I do what I said I was going to do? In this video, we're going to talk about how accountability is your secret weapon to maintain your health, all right? We got some over 40 fitness here. What did I say I was going to do anyway? Well, mainly just not regain weight. Okay, so here you see the typical cycle of yo-yo dieting, right? You start off, you're overweight. Then you do a weight loss program, you get to your healthy weight, and then you regain, and then you're back to overweight. Okay, but wait, how do we break this cycle of yo-yo dieting? Well, you see we have the wall of accountability, which is going to prevent regain. So here's how I break down accountability. One is keeping track of data, like what you weigh, but visual, meaning pictures, is important because how much is muscle, how much is fat, right? So we're going to do some of that in this video. Creating consequences. You know, in this situation, the consequence of failure would be that I would be humiliated. You would see that I messed up, right? And number three, taking responsibility. Whether you fail or succeed, you did that. Now, why is any of this necessary anyway? Well, it might not be necessary for you, but me, when I was younger, I was a very, very bad boy. Yes, I was, I basically abused food. I was a pathological junkie. I found this old picture of me. I don't know when this was taken, but look at my face, man. Look at my freaking face. Look how uh, just bloated and unhealthy I was. Now, here's a, another picture from eight years ago when I was almost 300 pounds. Okay, so you can see I basically self-mutilated myself because I just ate really, really unhealthy food. Okay, so that's why basically I lost weight four years ago, and now I'm like an alcoholic that still has to go to meetings. I have to keep myself on track, and that's what this video is about. Okay, time to face the music. The accountability pictures are here. So I have date stamped all these so that you can see when they are taken. These are going to be in chronological order. Okay, so this is what's been happening, fitness program 2023. Now my fitness program consists of running, weightlifting, and calisthenics. I have met my goal. I have, I have not gained any fat. Now I don't mind if I gain a little bit of muscle. Okay, I have gained some muscle. As long as I can, you know, point to those muscles, there they are. I know it's not fat, and that's why it is extremely beneficial to keep a visual log of your program to keep you on track, and it will, especially if you post it publicly. A lot of people post their log on Facebook support groups. Now, I weigh between 185 to 190, right, in that picture there. Do I look 190? I almost am, but... You know, because it's a lot of it's muscle. I mean, most people wouldn't guess that. All right, so this is the most recent picture I have. I took this last week as I'm narrating this, and I put a before and after. So basically, my program has been going well in this new year, and I hope yours is also. It's never too late. I'm not trying to be a bodybuilder. I'm almost 50. You know what I mean? All right, so what do I eat? What should you eat? Uh, we got some raw vegetables there. Look, if, you, if you're if you really, really, really overweight and you want to lose weight, raw vegetables are the way to go. You cannot maintain obesity on raw vegetables. On the other hand, if you need to bulk up, if you're like too skinny, maybe you were sick or something, you want to eat stuff like this, right? That's about 220 calories of brown rice and some fish. Yeah, if you need to bulk up, maybe you're trying to gain muscle, you want to eat mostly meat and about two to 300 calories of some sort of carb like rice on the side. That's protein sparing. It will, resolve, it will reserve the meat for muscle growth. Now, if, you, if you're kind of in between, like you're trying to maintain, then you should eat a little bit of each. Like there's some raw vegetables and some ribs, right? So if you're just trying to kind of maintain, you don't want to go up, you don't want to go down really. I would recommend vegetables as the, as the mainstay of your diet. And then depending how much you're working out, 
you add meat as necessary. Now, what about fast food? Uh, I no longer eat fast food. I haven't eaten it in four years. Again, you're like a drug addict, okay? Can a crackhead who's recovered smoke a little crack? No, so I just don't do it. Here are some chicken wings I ate the other day. I'm not even saying to not eat, like, quote, good stuff. I'm just saying cook it yourself. All right, the difference between these and the wings I ate when I was fat, these are not deep fried in oil, these are not breaded, and these don't have a side of potato wedges and a big soda and all the other stuff from KFC or Popeyes. I do not fry these in oil. I use natural animal fat to crisp them, and then I cook them through by baking them. Okay, and hey, I think these taste better than what I used to get from fast food joints, honestly. All right, one little tip. You know, I do calisthenics, weightlifting, and running. A lot of people don't like to run, but really what I learned from the military people that I know, you know, Navy SEALs and stuff, they're all incredible runners. If you run a challenging distance, it'll jack up your testosterone so much that when you do lift, the effect will be multiplied. Okay, so that's where running fits in. Okay, well, that was the feel-good part of the video. And now for the uh, reality. You know, most people, they, they approach weight loss. Hey, let's make a deal. This ain't let, let's make a deal, buddy. That's not how it works. You can't negotiate with that heart attack that's coming. If your mental health is in the garbage, it's probably because you threw it there with these types of behaviors. You, you break promises to yourself. You half-ass everything. You just want sympathy. You blame everybody else. Uh, you know, sometimes people ask me about other creators' diets and programs. Look, most of these guys are in way over their head. They have no idea what they're doing. That kid there is one of the youngest uh, ranked chess masters. Yeah, no, reality is going to freaking destroy them. They have no idea what they're doing. I don't care about their intentions. It's like saying you intend to build a rocket ship when you don't know how. Uh, so a lot of these creators just need professional help is what it comes down to. Now, this is really why I am disliked and hated because I believe you get what you fucking deserve. Whether you succeed or fail, you earned it, buddy. Most people will fail. That's not a tragedy. That's just a fact. But I hope that you are not most people. Good luck, my friends.